uh, with your transition uh, mm -hmm. after that moment in time? Um, so I still ran um, every day. Uh, and I feel like I did this and it was very painful looking back and I probably shouldn't have, <laughs> but, um, and this is what kind of hard about running is like, you know, if you played like football or something, you're not playing football anymore. Like you, you're not yeah. doing that every day, but running yeah. you can. Uh, so what ended up happening for me is over the span of a year, you know, you start running slower and shorter and you don't feel as good. Uh, yeah. and so you know, I still enjoyed running, but, um, it's not fun to see your fitness just complete, you know, slowly decrease over time. No. Um, I think that, uh, I probably would have done it differently if I got to do it again. What would you have done differently? Um, I think that I would have, um, you know, it's hard. Like on one hand, like, you kind of have to either run or not run. Like you, it's yeah. hard to like do it halfway. Cause then you're just kind of not in shape enough to enjoy it. Um, yeah. but on the other hand, it's a huge outlet for me. It's something that like yeah. really was good for me physically and mentally. Um, and so, um, I think honestly, like it, it took me up until last summer to finally, like, I, I wasn't enjoying running anymore. I was tired. Um, I had yeah. gotten COVID in July and like, I just stopped. I finally had the courage to stop um, and explore yep. other ways to exercise. Um, I started lifting weights mm -hmm. and doing yoga and walking and rollerblading. Yeah. Um, and now like I still run, I run like three, two, two to four times a week and I can do that. Um, and I feel good about it, but it took a long time to have the courage to finally let go 